Yesterday, we discussed the ambition of a French engineer with his creation, the Lazarus LM847, which features a 4.7 liter V8 engine from a Ferrari Maserati supercar. Today, we will talk about the legendary and genius mechanic from Berkshire, England, Alan Milliard. It all started when he took his son, Stephen, to the Goodwood Festival of Speed in 2004. Among the exhibits, a particular motorcycle caught everyone's attention, the Dodge Tomahawk. With its futuristic design, the motorcycle was certainly unique for its time, boasting a massive and long body, primarily consisting of a 10-cylinder engine from the Dodge Viper supercar. The Dodge Tomahawk features double front and rear wheels with independent suspension on each wheel, allowing it to lean into corners. After returning from the Goodwood Festival of Speed, his son told him that the Dodge Tomahawk wasn't very impressive. He said, Dad, you can make a better motorcycle than that. Motivated by his son's response, Alan Milliard decided to create a motorcycle with the same engine as used in the Dodge Tomahawk, but with a vastly different character. The first challenge was obtaining the engine. He took his laptop and searched on eBay, eventually finding a Dodge Viper engine with a 10-cylinder V configuration. The project took about two years, starting in July 2007 and finishing in April 2009. When asked by MotorcycleNews.com about his motivation for making this motorcycle, Alan replied that besides fulfilling his son's wish, he also wanted to prove that the British could compete with the Americans who had created motorcycles like the Dodge Tomahawk and Boss Hoss. Both of those motorcycles use the Dodge Viper Vifi 10 engine, and I'm trying to make it better, he said. After purchasing the Dodge Viper V10 engine from eBay, he transported it in his Land Rover to his small garage. Upon arrival, he weighed the engine and realized it was 750 pounds, 340 kilograms. If the engine alone weighs this much, what will the total weight of the vehicle be, he thought. To transmit the engine's power, he needed a bevel gearbox with a 90-degree angle. Once the bevel box was installed, he had to create a custom single-side swing arm. Due to the engine's weight, he made a mounting bracket from one-inch thick steel. The front suspension was also custom-made, since there were no spare parts from other motorcycles that matched the size of this one. To support the motorcycle's weight, high-quality suspension components were used. A 75mm hydraulic ram from JCB provided strong shock absorption, while the springs and internal trut damper from Vauxhall Carlton enhanced stability and comfort. The rear suspension consisted of two parts taken from a Yamaha R1, but since the springs were too soft, he eventually replaced them with stiffer ones. For the frame, Alan Milliard chose a tubular steel design and had to remove some unnecessary engine components to fit the front subframe. Essentially, this motorcycle only uses a front subframe and a rear swing arm to support the Dodge Viper V10 engine. The transmission uses a single speed with a manual clutch. Since it is single speed, there is no neutral gear, so he had to constantly press the clutch to stay in neutral. Because the hand clutch was heavy, he needed additional foot-operated clutch assistance. This required a mechanism to wedge behind the foot clutch, keeping the engine in neutral. Supported by rear gears of varying sizes, this motorcycle can reach a top speed of 160 to 260 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Due to the intense heat generated by the Dodge Viper engine, he made an exhaust cover from aluminum and coated it with ceramic, but the result was less than satisfactory. The engine heat still penetrated the coating, so he came up with the idea of placing charcoal pieces behind the exhaust cover to prevent heat transfer. This idea was inspired by how NASA's space shuttle withstands atmospheric reentry heat. He used a silencer from a 1998 Suzuki TL-1000R with some modifications to give the V10 engine a more aggressive sound. Given the high temperatures of the V10 engine, a robust cooling system was necessary. He installed two radiators, 
an auxiliary radiator with two electric fans on the side, and a larger primary radiator in the front. This system was proven effective, as Allen has driven over 9,000 miles without any engine problems or signs of overheating. For the braking system, the motorcycle uses a rally car brake from a Metro 6R4 with a 300 mm diameter and 35 mm thickness disc and a six-piston pre-tech caliper for the rear brakes. The front brakes feature a 355 mm diameter disc with 35 mm thickness, paired with two six-piston pre-tech calipers. The rear section was custom-made by hand, using 1.6 mm thick steel plates to accommodate Honda Fireblade lights. The fuel tank was also custom-made from 1.6 mm thick steel plates and can hold approximately 10 gallons of gasoline. The air filter is from Kahin and is placed on each side to catch the airflow generated by the motorcycle's speed. The hand grip uses OEM parts and the start button, front light switch, high beam, low beam, front and rear indicators, and horn are taken from a Suzuki TL1000S. Additionally, the digital display panel is from Koso, showing the speedometer, voltmeter, trip meter, maximum speed, and more along with a USB port. The result is truly astonishing. The Milliard Viper V10, with its 8,000cc Dodge Viper V10 engine configuration, can produce 500 bhp at 4,800 rpm and 465 pounds-feet of torque at 3,600 rpm. Alan Milliard took his Viper V10 motorcycle to the Isle of Man TT for the first time in 2012. The journey from Berkshire to the Isle of Man covered approximately 320 miles. Due to the Viper V10's heavy weight of 600 kilograms, Alan decided to ride it himself. Despite encountering rain several times along the way, the motorcycle remained safe and comfortable to ride. A unique occurrence was that when the motorcycle entered the ship's deck, the V10 engine's noise set off several alarms. In 2023, Alan Milliard, along with a colleague from a television show, broke the Guinness World Record for the fastest tandem motorcycle ride, reaching a speed of 183.5 miles per hour, or approximately 295.3 kilometers per hour, surpassing the previous record of 181.426 miles per hour. This achievement took place on a 9,800-foot runway at Elvington Airfield, North Yorkshire, England. So that's a brief history of Alan Milliard, the eccentric mechanic from England who created a custom motorcycle with a Dodge Viper V10 engine named the Milliard Viper V10. Stay tuned for more exciting stories about the world of motorcycles on this channel. Show your support by liking, subscribing, and commenting below. Don't forget to activate notifications so you don't miss the next video. Thank you and see you soon.